दिस क्वेश्चन हैज़ टू पार्ट्स डू यू थिंक इंडिया विल मीट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स एनर्जी नीड्स फ्राम रीन्यूएबल एनर्जी बाई ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी जस्टिफाई यूर आंसर द सप्लीमेंट्री पार्ट टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज हाउ विल द शिफ्ट ऑफ सब्सिडीज फ्राम फॉसिल फ्यूल्स टू रीन्यूएबल्स हेल्प टू अचीव द अब ऑब्जेक्टिव एक्सप्लेन नाउ लेट सी द आंसर India has voluntarily set the target to meet 50% of its energy needs from renewable energy by year 2030. For this, India will have to create renewable energy capacity of at least 500 gigawatt by year 2030. At present, India is producing 149 gigawatt of renewable energy and 63 gigawatt renewable energy projects are under construction. Uh, soon india will be producing 212 gigawatt of renewable energy india will have to produce about 300 gigawatt more renewable energy by year 2030 to achieve the target government of india along with state governments is vigorously working to achieve the target of 500 gigawatt of renewable energy by year 2030 To promote renewable energy, government has launched several schemes and programs like Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission, Solar Rooftop Scheme, Solar Park Scheme, Atal Jyoti Yojana, uh, PM Kusum Yojana, and then there is a Central Public Sector Undertaking Scheme. Then there are uh, Green Energy Corridor Projects. Government of India, uh, Government of India has notified the offshore wind energy policy to harness the potential of offshore wind energy along India's coastline. There are also programs for energy generation from urban, industrial, and agriculture waste. At international level, India is a party of One Sun, One World, One Grid, and International Solar Alliance. Due to these tremendous efforts of government. the production of renewable energy will definitely increase in coming years but to achieve the target of 50% of energy needs from renewable energy sources uh, there is need to address some challenges in renewable energy sector what are these challenges first is high installation cost per megawatt installation cost of solar and wind power plant is far high in comparison to thermal power plant india will need a uh, 223 billion dollar of investment in wind and solar energy sector to meet the target of 500 gigawatt by year 2030 to achieve this target government should encourage private players to invest in this sector for this government should give tax incentives uh, loan facilities and risk coverage guarantee etc government should make policy changes to make fdi in renewable energy sector easier second is poor financial condition of state power electricity boards or say companies Renew- renewable power is purchased by the state run power or electricity companies but these companies often face payment crises due to their heavy losses another thing is land acquisition for solar and wind power projects is also an issue besides this industrialists and general public is not showing much interest in installing solar rooftops or using solar powered lights and gadgets in spite of so many incentives and subsidies by government india can achieve the target to meet 50% of its energy needs from renewable resources by properly addressing these hurdles now coming to the supplementary part of this question can shifting of subsidies from fossil fuels to renewable energy sector help to achieve the 2030 target of renewable energy uh, see to achieve the target of 50% of energy needs from renewable resources by year 2030 subsidies are going to play an important role in promoting solar power wind power biogas etc according to a report mapping india's energy policy 2020 this report was prepared by council for energy environment and water according to this report india's subsidies for fossil fuels such as coal oil and gas have dropped by 72% during last 7 years that is between year 2014 and 2021 however the fossil fuel subsidies in financial year 2021 still 9 times higher than the renewable energy subsidies therefore there is enough scope to shift subsidies on fossil fuels 
to promote renewable energy technology to reach 500 gigawatt of renewable energy target by year 2030 however shifting the subsidies alone from fossil fuels to renewable energy sector will not be sufficient to achieve the target of 50% of total energy from renewable energy sources but the government will have to address other challenges too in the development of renewable energy sector